Hello. In this video, I would like to show you how to solve and refine this structured THPP that's shipped with Olex 2 without the mouse. So it's solved now. So to reset it, I type reset. Structure will be reset and I can solve it again. And that uses whatever uh, solution program was set to solve the structure. Now it's necessary to move the mouse a little bit to see what's going on. And here it looks quite clearly that the molecule is disjoint. And what we need is the compact command that puts everything together. And now control Q, we can show the Q peaks with the bonds and hide the Q peaks all together and show them without the bonds. At this point, the best thing to do is probably to type clean. So clean um, deletes all the peaks that are clearly not correct and it makes everything else carbon. It's a very simple routine, but it's often quite effective. I'm going to refine this. We don't want to refine too much, just one cycle and look at three peaks. I think we found all the heavy elements that confirms it. And now we need to adjust that model. So those ones on the top left hand corner, they are fluorines. We know this. So uh, name CF, name C1F. And then I think the one with, um, let's just refine this and see what we get. And let's make um, four cycles of refinement, I think, to see where something else is going on. And I think it's quite clear if I hide those Q peaks again, where the peaks are, so C4 is the up key, name C4, that is a nitrogen, nitrogen, and um, C, now what's this one? I can't read this one for the mouse. We need the mouse C11. Name C11 nitrogen. I think C3 looks like one. Name C3N and C2. The up key again. Um, what's up key? What have I done? Name C2. Under <laughs> C2N. Right. And refine. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we're going anisotropic. Anise. That makes it anisotropic. Refine. That refines it. And that looks altogether quite good. So QPIX on again and see whether anything else is going on. And I think we want to see some of these hydrogens now. So let's look at more. Refine for at, let's say, 15 peaks. And we can see that all the hydrogens are here. But I would use H add anyway to add the hydrogens geometrically. Refine. And here we go and refining the thing. That looks fairly good. I think most of the peaks are on the bonds, except of course in this bottom line here where there is disorder. And also to adjust the weighting scheme here, which is not necessary, I need the mouse. So maybe it's worth thinking about a command that can do this. We haven't got that. Okay, refine. And that should settle this. Um, so this is a disordered structure, so we need to do a little bit of disorder work. And I will just show you, we need the mouse for making some selections, I suspect. So I'm going to shift in the left mouse, um, going to make, select these atoms and go kill dollar $H and it deletes all the hydrogens in this part. We want to model as disordered. And I'm going to use mode split. So I click on this one here and type mode split. Except that's not what it is. It's mode fit minus S for split. So this allows me to split this atom by shifting it with the mouse. So I just need to grab it and move it up. So that's the left mouse and the shift key. And then I need to rotate it round like centering a crystal. Again, I need the mouse to do this. When I'm done, I hit escape and type refine. And we can already see if I look at the parts numbers. So we have um, part one and part two. So we really need the mouse to do this, to hover over something. Um, we go anisotropic on this and H add and refine. And that should refine the whole thing. And it does. And the occupancies now come out as 87 and as uh, 13. So if I wanted to fix those occupancies and do it by mouse, I would go um, fix occu c15 0 
what was it? 0 0.87.87. And let's just verify that this actually works. Um, it is fixed. And I would use the up key. I didn't select this. Um, C15A 0 0.13 and control r to refine this and this is just to show you how you can set the occupancy without clicking or without um, doing doing anything like this um, the display up here shows me that the um, asymmetric unit doesn't actually correspond to what's on the screen but i think in this structure it's actually a rounding thing the command for this would be fix unit and it's it's put that in so the the h is 9.782 and and this is still showing wrong because it's a rounding thing so again it's something to address maybe the reason why it's not integral is quite simple that we can go control q to hide those q peaks you can go show part show p zero and one so that shows us part zero and part one so this is a ch2 and ch2 or we can go show p zero and two and that's the other one, which is the unsaturated starting material at 13%. And that's why the overall um, formula unit isn't integral. Again, show P again without an argument. We'll just show both of those parts again. Um, I think this, this was pretty much everything in order to solve and refine this with the keyboard. And I'm going to do this again. So it's reset. It's solve. And it's um, compact to put it together. You don't actually need to do this. It will happen eventually, automatically. It's clean. It's refine. It's naming a few atoms um, according to to what they what they are here. So it's name C F and it's name C one F and it's um, you know what, let's take Anis first and refine it and then we can see them more clearly. Um, Z2, name C2 and not an F but an N, name C4N, name C3 is also nitrogen and C10, name C10N. It's almost faster typing than using the up key on this one. H add uh, does that. Refine, refines again. Um, let's do it the other way. Let's go name Q1N. Sorry, C. So this uh, is making the disorder slightly differently. We go cell C1 to select it. Part, um, so this is going to be part 2, almost certainly part 2, uh, minus 21. Cell C15. And go part 1, 21. So this will link the occupancies. Refine the occupancies are linked and refined like this. We go Arnes, we go H add, we go refine, and we are basically exactly where we were before. And um, this is now still a linked occupancy, and I'm not entirely sure what's actually better whether to keep it as a linked occupancy and then have a an ESD with this uh, value, or whether it's better to actually fix it and then not um, fit too many things at the same time. So I'm in two minds about this at the moment. So here we go. So this is 12%. Now it's interesting that this doesn't come out exactly the same as before, but um, there we go. So we just go, um, which is what's the one called? C1, uh, fix OQ C1 0 0.12 and then fix OQ C15 0 0.88. We find this and we are ending up with the not fixed occupancies. Just like fixed, what have I done? What have I put in there? I fixed it, but I fixed it at 0 0.12. What happened? Fix OQ 0 0.12. And I'm clicking on this because it's just a little bit easier here. Fix OQ 0 0.88. I wonder why this hasn't actually taken it a minute ago. Um, so these ones are now fixed. Um, there we go. I just showed you how to do this without the mouse. And thank you 
for using oh let's fix that as well i've not done this one so this one needs to obviously a mouse and um, also updating so update the rating scheme all the time so it automatically updates to the, to the previous one another refine and then we should be done last one and thank you for using olex too